How's it going, Weight Watchers? It is week seven of our senior season of high school for Leo Pittman, and we're going to be playing against the Egan Hilltoppers, looking to stay undefeated. We're 6-0. They are 0-6. Leo ranked 128th in the nation for his recruiting class. We're a four-star back trying to get that fifth star, and we're getting close to the end of our senior season, so... Let's hope that we can do well here. A lot of scholarship offers from some solid teams. No idea where I think that we'll be taking our talents yet. But let's go ahead and play against Egan here. And we'll see maybe here against a bad team if we can manage to break 300 yards rushing. So Egan getting to call the toss. They will win it. And we're going to start with the football. It's a nice, beautiful Friday evening here in Mankato as we're going to get the first carry of the game up the middle. Seeing what we can do. Oh my gosh. Our center was worthless there. Just got back to the line of scrimmage. Coach has pulled Steve already. We're going to get the opportunity to pass on this second and 10. I don't feel comfortable making the throw, but... Oh, I hit the wrong button. Glad that we didn't take the sack, but it's third and 10. And now we have to run the halfback slip screen. You guys know I do not do well with this play. We'll see what we can do. Try to get something successful. Can't expect to do all that well. As Actually, we have a block out in front. Could we finally have a successful slip screen? That's incredible. 14 yards on the play. We'll run up the middle on this first down. And that's going to work for a couple. And you might notice this episode... A little bit different than the first couple. We had the one where we lost the audio, but on this one, we're going to be cutting a couple plays out just to make these episodes a little bit shorter. And I plan to do that at least for the rest of our high school career, if not through this entire uh, series, just because I feel like it can get a little bit repetitive just seeing us uh, run up the middle 50 times a game. So we were unable to do anything with that first drive but our world-class defense gets us back onto the field and another run just trying to continue to move forward here going to the edge this time a lot of room to work with that's a good seven yard first down we'll try out of the wildcat the little fake jet up the middle a lot more space that's back-to-back -back big plays back-to-back -back first downs for us up the middle again Bounced off a blocker. Positive yards. We're doing well on this drive. On this down. Again, we go up the middle. I'm going to actually bounce it to the edge where we've got blockers. And once again, another big play. Another first down on this drive. This time we have to run out of the wildcat, but it's the jet counter, which worries me as a play. Following the blocker, we break a tackle. We get the stiff arm cheese and we pick up 13. Patient running on that play that I'm not really used to doing but it works well that time and we do it again and we get another 10 we're moving the ball so well uh already 68 yards on the game quarterback giving us the ball again following the blockers we make a little cut and the end zone is wide open for us first quarter already 87 yards and a touchdown to our name we're having that good game that we wanted End of the first quarter here after this play. We get the carry. We cut it north. We continue to move. What a good first quarter for us. We've already got almost 100 yards. We've got the touchdown. We've had some big plays. And we even got a slip screen to work. Good game. I'm loving it. Let's hope that it can continue in this second half as we'll run the counter to open up. Or sorry, second quarter as we'll run the counter to open up the quarter. And again, another big play for us. This one's going to put us over 100 yards on the day. And I mean, if we average six yards a carry, we're going to dominate with 50 carries in the game. Second and four to the edge. Space available for us. Falling forward. Another double digit run for us. I guess there's a reason that Egan is 0-6 on the season, and we're 6-0, looking to get to that 7-0. <laughs> it's just too easy. Well, we got nothing out of that drive. Couldn't convert. Uh, coach didn't allow us to play the important one, so we have to start back over. Decent field position here. Another six-yard carry. Our defense has continued to hold. Um, unfortunately, I just noticed we missed, apparently... An extra point on the touchdown that we ran for. 
That's pretty disappointing. Try to make this a two-score game on this drive midway through the second quarter. Even when we get at, at the line of scrimmage, we're picking up six yards. Our coach has the easiest job game planning, I think. There's just nobody or, or no other decisions he needs to make other than like, okay, we're going to run this to the left or the right or up the middle. It's just, okay, hand it off to Leo. He'll get the job done. Curious to know if our defense will ever falter as... Oh, look at that. Like, how did we get 11 yards out of that play? <laughs> it's, it's unstoppable. First and 10, a man in motion looking for the end zone. We're cutting it back. Not quite there, but we do get inside the five with eight yard pickup. And we must be in coach's good graces again because he's not throwing that play action. When we get to the goal line, he's given it to us. We bounce it outside and we've got the touchdown run. Our second of the day, we're well over 150 yards. And here to end this first half, we'll see. Can they do anything? No. Do we get an interception? We must have. We've got okay field position in a minute and a half to work with. So we'll run a four verts. It looks like they want to bring the safety blitz. And I'm going to call for the ball. I'm open. Give it to me. We get up field. We pick up a little block. We didn't get out of bounds like we should have, but we got 25 more all-purpose yards. With a minute to go before halftime, we're running the four verts. Expecting just to take off. Looks like they're going to bring the blitz again. And we're open. I'm not sure why he passed it to me because I'm well short of the line to gain, but it's enough for them. And they take another timeout, or maybe not. Coach has decided to save our timeout for uh, when we get into field goal range. If we get into field goal range, oh my goodness. Well, we're certainly there. 31 seconds. We got 22 more yards through the year. We have 77 receiving yards. And our genius of a coach now here inside half a minute left in the half. Threw a four verts there from the five yard line, but it works out. We get our third touchdown of the game this time through the air. I think we might have every completion that Steve has thrown. Um, so we are now a receiving back as well. So it's 20 to zero with 22 seconds before the half. And it's now halftime. So we'll see what can the defense do to open up the third quarter. There it is. The stop is complete. That was pretty easy. 251 total yards of offense for us to their 81. We've got a long way to go as their punt backs us up to the 12-yard line. And, oh, that's a lot of room to work with. Not going to be enough to take it to the house, I don't think, because we don't have the speed. But we are way downfield across the 30, 59 yards. Absolutely a season-high run for us. I almost ran right into the defender there, too, and probably got dropped for a loss, but it works out perfectly. We're definitely breaking some sort of record today with how easily we're running. Look at that, breaking a tackle there. Another one. <laughs> we just don't stop. 236 yards, or 243, I should say, on the ground at this point. We're still early in this third quarter. Again, following the blocks. Another seven. Just add it to the total. I'm going to be looking for the completion here. I think we already have five on the game and one receiving touchdown. Now, we're not going to go to me. Steve's going to go to Gio Soria. Uh, he's 6-6 six six on the day. That's his second touchdown. We're dominating. Of course, our defense has absolutely smothered Egan, so they are getting blown out. Something we don't really see in the other series that we do. Oh, my gosh. Another big run. The blocking out on the edge was massive. It's 27 more yards. First and 10. This game is definitely going to shoot us up the uh, the ranks for our recruiting class. Two minutes left in the third. Look at that. Even where we get hit at the line of scrimmage, we get three yards almost to that 300-yard mark. This one, if we get positive yards, will put us over 300. I was really hoping for a touchdown. Puts us at 308 now, looking for the third rushing touchdown. And the coach is doing this crap to us again. First and goal. He's not allowing us to get anything, and, well, they throw the touchdown. Steve's perfect on the day for his third touchdown, but why does coach not give me the ball in that situation? The disrespect continues to be real as we're nearing the end of the third quarter, and, again, still just picking up the yards. So three quarters in the books now. 
We've had some of our biggest plays so far. This is by far our best game. I feel bad for the players from Egan, but, you know, we got to do what we got to do. All righty. What do we got here on this run? Blocking continues to be good. Another 10-yard pickup. Our average is phenomenal. We're averaging 8.5 yards per carry, and we have 38 of them. I want to break off one more big one in this game. Like another 20-plus yarder. I mean, I'll take 8, but... I want more. Apparently, we went down there. Um, I was... I'm speechless. We did a spin move, and it, we're so short that our knee hit the ground. All right, well, that's something that happened. First in 10. Probably should have just tried to truck through that guy. The juke probably didn't work. Still seven yards. They've got pretty much no answer for us. And to be fair, I don't think... Many high school teams could field uh, guys that had an answer for a 321-pound running back. And it certainly doesn't help that our quarterback is 100% completion percentage on the day. Here we go. This could be something. We got the edge. Lower the shoulder. First and goal. Big pickup there. Definitely going to be using the reaction time on the counter here. Looking for the end zone. Oh my gosh, it was all too easy. We're gonna we're gonna just walk in, show them a little bit of disrespect as we go eight yards. Our fourth touchdown of the day, third rushing. It's all too easy, and it looks like Coach might have taken us out for the game. We'll sim to the end of it. Yeah, they're just burning the clock, and Coach said, "Okay, you've done enough." As we've earned a trophy there, we are unstoppable. It's very fitting. Play of the game is a big one. Look at the running. Just absolutely fantastic. Into the end zone. <laughs> what a game for Mankato. Oh, man. 7-0. Not too shabby. 47 carries, 383 yards and three touchdowns. 82 yards receiving and another touchdown there. Should have had another rushing touchdown. Coach took that away from us, but that might be enough for our fifth star. So we got it. Five-star player, 200 and 40 recruiting points on the day. That's a massive amount. Brings us over the 1,000 mark uh, in this senior season. I mean, <laughs> we were very efficient when we touched the ball, and we touched it a lot. Well, Wake Forest has offered us a scholarship, but nobody else, so I guess uh, that's nice that we finally got that. I, I guess we already kind of had it, and we've gotten offers from the top three teams in the country, Clemson, Ohio State, and Alabama. <laughs> We're not going to play for any of these teams. I'm just going to say that now. It, it'll be too easy to put our talent with, with any of these squads. Um, so we'll just pick the lowest overall one just because uh, it's Ohio State. Again, we're not going to go there, but they've offered. So we'll, we'll, we'll allow them to try to woo us, get the free trip to visit their campus and whatnot as we've moved up to the 80th best player in our class. And we go up against... Lakeville, that's a very fitting name for a Minnesota team. They're 6-1 and one here in Week 8, our most difficult game. We're 7-0, and oh, they're 6-1. and one. Big, big one. We'll see if the defense can continue to be so phenomenal. We had to go on the road for this one. So that means we get to go coin toss. Tails never fails except for that time. And we're going to start with the ball again. I like, I don't know if this is a uh, CFB revamp thing or not, but I like that this field shows like the, the dual use lines. Like it's got like lacrosse or field hockey lines back there for us. That's kind of cool. I guess it could be soccer, but that doesn't seem like the right dimensions to me. Um, okay. Running it up the middle. Let's just keep rolling. Bring our momentum from last game over to this one. Against Lakeville High, it's going to be very important that we do well, but that's not going to do it. I'm going to call the hurry up. This is dangerous. It could cause us to lose the game, but uh, this could be a crucial fourth and in inches. I think that we should be able to pick this up. No way that we get stopped, especially with the reaction time. And yeah, I got to keep this opening drive going. See what we can pick up. Big play here. I don't like the play call. That's going to be probably the end of the drive. Fourth and four. So we'll see what can the defense do this first time out. They've been good. Fourth and inches. And they punted it away. So we get the ball back. It's honestly kind of absurd how good our defense is. I gotta wonder, maybe I the, the sliders that we use for our dynasty, are they 
making it too easy. It seems weird if that's the case, but I'm not sure. Ooh, that's a big one. The broken tackles, a couple of them. Gets us our first double-digit carry of the day. Lakeville definitely slowing us down a, a lot more than Egan did, but that's to be expected of playing a 6-1 team versus an 0-6 one. Up the middle, second and seven. Pretty strong running, all things considered. Gonna use the reaction time here. Make sure that we make the right cut. Oh my gosh, the blocking's incredible. Ooh, a diving tackle saved it. We went 26 yards, though. A massive chance now for us on the road to take the lead in probably the biggest game of our season so far. I still don't think Coach has called a pass play, so it's pretty much just been us running the ball the whole time, and we're inside the five now. Big, big play. Third and one up the middle. The blocking is there. It's enough for the first and goal. We're going to run that play one more time. First and goal. We better score on this play. Nearing the end of the first quarter, we need a touchdown. Oh my gosh, look at how incredible the blocking is. We get the carry, we get the touchdown, and we get the lead. Defense got us another stop. That's going to give us another carry, of course. Uh, ooh, I think that's our first gain of nothing on a play. Could be fortunate for us that we have such a great defense because our offense doesn't need to perform every time. That was a massive diving tackle. That was going to be a big run. Oh my gosh, they just keep chasing us down from behind. Fourth and inches, we'll go for this too. We gotta have balls on these plays if we're gonna win the biggest game of our season yet. And these fourth down conversions are working really well. Another run towards the edge. We're just not getting as much as I'm hoping on these plays. We are now over 100 yards though on the day as we almost lost that 100 yard mark. Certainly a much better defense here. Can we beat him with the slip screen? No, Steve threw a terrible pass. We did catch it, but we lost a yard as a result, and it's fourth and six. The so defense kicks it away. Their offense keeps getting penalties against themselves. Look at there's another one, or I guess those are just uh, losses. <laughs> Anyways, we get the ball back, and I would love to extend our lead before halftime on this one. Could be big. The blocking. Oh my gosh. This counter has been working really well today. Another diving tackle to prevent the run from becoming something massive. So the offense is kind of stalled out after the big run. However, I'm open. That's not the route we were supposed to run, but coach gives us the ability to make an executive decision. It works out there. Steve's a perfect 2-2 two two on the day now. We haven't seen him miss a pass Yet this episode, I'm wide open, Steve. I'm absolutely wide open. Oh my gosh. What is he doing? All he had to do was heave it up. And we were going to get under that under that one for uh, an easy, easy touchdown. Oh, I made him throw a pick that time. You know what? That's payback. You don't throw me the ball, I'll make your stats look worse, Steve. How about that? A minute before halftime. Are they going to do something with this? Uh, No. Stalled out. Field goal's no good. So now we get to run the exact same play that I forced Steve to throw a pick on last time. Try to avoid it this time. We are open. We get the catch. And let's get out of bounds. Well, Steve's back to being bad. Not passing all that well so far in this game. And there he messed up again. Probably would help if I ran the right route for him. But he doesn't deserve that from me. Uh, too many times he doesn't pass me the ball when we're wide open. That's a great third down pass, though. Enough for another first down. 30 seconds left in the half. We'll keep throwing up bombs. Hoping for the best on these plays. Ooh, he almost threw another pick. When the time gets low on the, on the clock, our coach literally just turns into a cheeser with his play calling. It's so constant. Just four verts all the time until this happens. 21 seconds, he's calling a halfback dive. Uh, that makes no sense to me, but you do you, coach. I guess I'll bail you out and almost get a first down, but there's a flag on the play, and it's a holding on our center. That's a shame. I'm open. I'm open, Steve. You son of a gun. He threw an incompletion. He had a wide open me going for the end zone. 
every single time he doesn't pass to us. I just have to wonder, what did we do to him that it makes him dislike us so much? He's going to throw another one. Eight seconds left. There's finally a touchdown. He just keeps targeting that guy. Works out. Finds the second touchdown of the game for us. We increase the lead before halftime. So they're not going to be able to do anything on the first... Uh, or the, the end of the first half. And now their first drive is apparently a punt return for a touchdown by us. Well, that's not what we expected to happen. Uh, I'm assuming our defense gets another stop here because they're goaded. Although they're moving the ball pretty well. There's a loss of yards, penalty against us, and penalty against us. They're still moving the ball. This is a nice long drive for them. Will they score? They kick the field goal. So no back-to-back -back shutouts for us, although we're doing pretty dang solid. And first down, we will finally get to carry the ball again. We didn't get the opportunity to run a whole lot in uh, the past couple of drives. Working all right now, though. My biggest problem with our build right now is just like every single play, once we get a little bit into the game, you can just see our stamina's like three quarters empty before the play starts. Defense, of course, gets another stop nearing the end of the third quarter. You know, we're doing a little bit here. Last game, we were averaging twice as much per carry and we had uh, twice as many carries. This time, not so much. Passing the ball a lot more this game. And to end the third quarter, we're going to get a reception. Steve, just under 100 yards. Touchdown and an interception. He finally gives us the ball and we'll go into the fourth quarter looking to win. No reason to believe that our defense will start to give up points now. Took them a, an awfully solid but long drive to get to the uh, field goal uh, for their first points. So we'll expect... Uh, Probably just to see a win. I, I don't see them really doing anything to stop us at this point. Back in the Wildcat. Um, fun little Easter egg right now. If you look at the scoreboard, it says it's just all threes. Yeah, it's still like that. The score is 3-3. Three to three. There's 33 minutes and 33 seconds left. Uh, everybody has three timeouts. There's It's uh, 33rd down and 33 yards to go or something. I don't know what's going on back there. I guess the uh, scoreboard operator got tired of seeing this team get beat up and just went home. So no longer running there. Uh, and we have another chance here to score a touchdown. Trying to find, I think only our second time in the end zone. We lose three yards on that play. And of course, even though we're inside the 15, we're going with a four verts on third and nine. And Steve gets hit as he's throwing fourth and nine. We're going to have to settle for a field goal, and the kick is good. Well, at least we made it a nice 20-point game. They do nothing, which means that we get to come back out on the field, and this will probably be our final drive of the game with 3 minutes and 33 seconds left. Hey, look, we match up with the scoreboard now. If we only had 10 more points, uh, we would be even more matched up with the scoreboard. Trying. I would just want like one more big run on the game. We're just not getting the opportunities though. This is a pretty big play. Yeah, and we went for a decent amount too. Third, and it's just converted to a first down. This is kind of a close game compared to a lot of our others. So I get why coach is keeping us in, but it is interesting that he's doing it with less than two minutes to play. Third and inches again. Good conversion out towards the edge. All right, now we try to fight through. We don't get the touchdown, but we do get a first and goal. And just for uh, recruiting points sake, I hope that coach allows us to score the touchdown. We need to make sure that it happens. We're going to call the hurry up. When you call the hurry up, it uh, makes sure that you just run the same play again in this mode. So prevents the coach from being able to go with a play action so we do finally score the touchdown and it's going to be 30 to 3. so the defense got yet another stop and with a minute left in the game it's 30 to 3. we're going to improve to 8 no we're going to hand lakeville their second loss of the season and i think after this game we're going to go and look i'm going to see if there's like a a good set of road to glory sliders because i i feel like maybe the sliders that we use for the dynasty are making this all too easy. 
I don't necessarily think they're helping us with the running portion, but I think they're helping our defense be pretty incredible. Um, yeah, I just don't see how we hold all these teams to so few points. All right, this should be the final play of the game. We'll use our reaction time to try and make the most out of it. Uh, but there's nowhere for us to go. So <laughs> two yards on the pickup to end it. The clock will hit triple zeros. We're doing a little dance down there apparently. But yeah, the final looking good. Okay. We just keep winning. Let's see if we win the, uh, the high school championship or something. Win state. That would be pretty big for our uh, recruiting career. And we get another win on the road against our toughest opponent yet. And it didn't pop up the thing that we were supposed to look at for how many recruiting points we got. So I guess we'll just uh, look at the total offense or yards. 49 carries for 242 yards and two touchdowns. We know the two touchdowns were ours. We know that most of the carries and yards were ours. So I guess it was a mediocre game. So now Ohio State's offered us that scholarship. We're being sought after by Colorado, Arkansas, and UCLA. Each one of these teams has a pretty compelling case. We could try to uh, restore Colorado to their former glory. Arkansas has always kind of struggled in the SEC. We would be not on the best SEC team going up against some seriously tough talent, which would make it difficult, but uh, impressive if we won. And at UCLA, we could try to uh, be the team in LA. And we'd get to play our home games in the Rose Bowl, which is an awesome stadium. But I think just for now, we'll go with the Razorbacks. Um, I like all three of those teams, though. We gained, what, 200 recruiting points? Maybe a little bit less. Definitely over 100. We jumped up. Wow, we're top 40 now on our rank for our recruiting class, which is phenomenal. Next, we get, we get to play... Minnetonka, who is five and three, we keep winning, but I'm again going to look to see if there are uh, maybe a specific road to glory set of that we can get set up for this road to glory, something to make it a little bit more challenging, at least for the simmed portions, because our uh, simmed defense is like actually unstoppable, apparently. So we had a couple more scholarship offers onto the board. Honestly, a pretty impressive looking list at this point. Um, a lot of uh, Power 5 conference schools coming to knock on our door. Still no idea where we're going to go. I guess it just depends on uh, what other offers we get until we are forced to choose. But that's going to do it for this episode. That first game was honestly something else. Just demolished. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this one. If you did and you want to, you know, stay up to date with this series, please feel free to subscribe if you're not already. Somewhere around 70 to 75% of the people that will watch this video won't be subscribed. So if you're in that group and you want to make a difference, please feel free to hit the button. While you're down there, head to the description where you'll find links to my Twitch at twitch.tv slash goonmaster. There's also links for my Twitter and our community Discord as well. And as always, there's going to be a link to the College Football Revamped mod if you're trying to get it for yourself. That being said, thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Goonmaster. You guys are the Teal Boys. Wherever you are, have a good night or have a good morning. We'll see you later. Adios.